Hello and welcome to Clipper TV. I'm Jackson Ruprecht. And I'm Maddie Whittemore. And here are YHS's top stories. Hey Maddie, remember Mr. YHS? No. Well then it's a good thing we have some clips from it to jog your memory. <laughs> What a tremendous evening it was. There is no first runner up. All we do is celebrate the winner. And the winner of 2014 Mr. YHS is Matt. <laughs> What did you do for Poetry Aloud? Fire and Ice. They let you do that? No, but I did it anyway. What'd you do? Nicki Minaj's Super Bass. They let you do that? No, but I just pretended I was doing another poem, and then I just did it, so... Same, same. Well, since neither of us obviously made it in, let's take a look at some clips from the people who did. One of my favorite lines from the poem is, all those shadows of yourself you left behind on odd little tables. I like it a lot because it just kind of simplifies how, like, as a time goes on, a person, like, changes along with the challenges that they have to face. Um, I think Poetry Out Loud is just a really fun experience, which just sounds really stupid, but I actually do. So I'll probably do something with poetry in the future. And Poetry Out Loud's like, really inspired me to become a better speaker and a performer. With the ectoplastic cartoons balloon of speech bursting steadily out of the front of his face. And I like this because of the way it sounds. It just feels good when you say it, the ectoplastic. Being in the play has probably helped me tremendously. I mean, I think when I go up there, I'll be a lot more confident because I've been in that sort of setting before and it'll help me with my nerves, probably. I like the line's precise execution as we moved into the next song without stopping, because it's the most fun to recite. I, I've always liked writing poetry, but I've never like really recited it. And last year I was in the runoffs, but then just didn't go on to the school competitions this year. I was like nervous, I was just like, give it a try, and here I am. <laughs> It was cool to see that I could do something that I didn't think I could do before, I guess. Trying new things, I suppose. I wasn't trying to win, I guess. I was just trying to do my best, and the best was enough, I suppose. <laughs> I guess I hope it is this year again. I think the Poetry Out Loud competition is going to help me gain a lot more public speaking experience and help me a lot with it. Uh, I mean, this is a really cool opportunity for me. I'm not really, I don't really usually think of myself as like a performing or like a recita recitation type of person, so uh, I wouldn't say I'm really nervous. I'm kind of excited though. The competition is rather intimidating, but I think that as long as I focus and I have my second poem memorized by the time that I need to, I'll be fairly confident in getting up and presenting it. Um, I haven't really checked out the competition, to be honest, but uh, Jacob Sperber and I have, you know, talked about our poems, so it should be interesting. I think it's pretty intense competition. Um, I know Amanda has been in it all these years. 
So this is my favorite part because the audience usually laughs and I get to kind of play with the words. Clap your hands. The Peanuts Play School. It's a hard competition and it really is about the details, but it's more about your connection to the poem and just like feeling what you're saying. The only other person I've seen is Ella Warners and she killed it when I saw it. It's like, it's fun. It shouldn't, I, it's nerdy that I think it's fun, but it's fun. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Poetry is just like a gift, you know? Gifts are so fun. Yeah. They are fun. Mm -hmm. You know, Jackson, what was your favorite gift that you ever received? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a couple years ago, and, um... Someone gave me a YHS yearbook, but all of the pictures in it were cut out and replaced with pictures of Guy Fieri. It was, um, I really enjoyed that gift. Oh, well, what's your favorite gift? What's the best gift you've ever received? Well, my favorite gift is the gift of life. That's beautiful. Let's go ask the student body what they think about gifts. What is the greatest gift you've ever received as a human being? I think one time when I was like eight, I got a fish. A fish? Yeah. What kind of fish? It's like a beta fish. You heard it here first, folks. A beta fish. Learning how to read because I spend so much of my time doing that. Yeah. So when I was eight, I got this beautiful Chrissy with beautiful hair that grows. Doll. Could pull the hair out of the back of her. It was, it was the best. Xbox 360. My dog. Your dog. That's yeah. very sweet. What, what type yeah. of dog is that? It's a mutt. It's a, a mix mutt. between... We actually don't know. Very but, good. Yeah. All right, and how about you? Um, my phone. <laughs> Your phone. Yeah. Is it an iPhone? Yeah. Do you have apps? Yeah. The coolest things these days. All right. A camera. No, no, wow. no. A phone. A phone. And what type of phone? That's the second person who said that. This, an iPhone 5. And do you have apps? Yeah, I do. Probably the Star Wars Lego set last year my grandmother gave me. <laughs> and did you build this set? No, no, I just like to look at it. I'm here with Lisa, our friend. Lisa, what is your favorite gift? It was being painted by Leonardo da Vinci. What did, what did you look at that? <laughs> it turns out that she's just thankful for being painted. Well, that's all, folks. Wait, what about the... Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, go for it. Tell, tell um, if you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter. That's at Black Eyed Peas Fan 7. Um, I tweet a lot about... No, Maddie, Black Maddie, you were supposed to tell them about the Clipper TV Twitter account, not your personal Twitter right, account. Right, uh, that's, uh, right. That's at Clipper TV if you want to know about Clipper TV. But I'm uh, at Black Eyed Peas Fan 7. Uh, I tweet, like, you know, uh, Will I Am, you know, he's like a really cool guy. Like, Thanks I for to... watching Clipper TV. <laughs>